Welcome back to my channel bro. This channel shares information about the latest cars. Ok let's go straight into the video. After introducing the world to the Avija Hypercar and the Electra SUV, Lotus demonstrated its ability to produce fully electric automobiles. In the same vein, the Amaya 4-door GT continues the Electra's legacy as a stylish sedan. The Audi e-tron GT and the Tesla Model S are among the vehicles that compete with Amaya. Lotus, now headed by Geely, is phasing out the production of sports cars and roadsters. Aiming to increase the brand's profitability, the Chinese multinational has ambitious plans, such as expanding production and creating a range of fully electric vehicles by 2028. To round up this picture, the firm has released the most recent Amaya, the first four-door Grand Tourer driven entirely by electricity. Just how much power? When would that be? A single-motor all-wheel drive system with two power modes will probably be standard on the Amaya just as it is on the Electra. If this is correct, then the standard model should produce 603 horsepower and 524 pound-feet of torque, while the highest trim level should produce 905 horsepower and 727 pound-feet of torque. Lotus Grand Tourer is expected to be as swift as Porsche Taycan Turbo S, with a predicted 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds. Even if we don't have official numbers just yet, we can probably expect the Amaya's 102 kWh battery to provide us more miles than the Taycan Turbo S's 222 miles. Lotus claims that their 800V battery architecture can be rapidly charged from 10% to 80% using a 350 kW quick charger in less than 15 minutes. Your time and attention are appreciated by the AutoFast channel. Subscribing and clicking the bell icon will ensure that you don't miss any updates regarding other amazing autos.